when we think about farming, many people worry it's going to be very hard work. You need to dig a lot. You need to do a lot on weeding. It's very boring job for many people. But for Sarah, Sarah is the founder of plenty farms in Loveland, Colorado. She used no digging technique. It worked very well for her in this area. She helped many people to change their lawn into garden. Now, many family in her neighbor change their lawn into garden. It looked more beautiful than lawn, and then they can produce a lot of food to feed family and people in their area. Once that trench is in, I put, we just put, lay cardboard over the top. The reason we do the trench is so that you can tuck the cardboard in next to the concrete. So and then you get your wood chips really nice. If you have any gaps in the cardboard, the grass will come through or the weeds or whatever is there. So we get it real, real covered with the, with the cardboard. And then we bring in at least that four inches three to four inches of um, wood chips and then once you have the whole thing covered with wood chips like in this case we then added our compost to create our beds where we wanted them so we put the compost we made this, this little snake bed here by just adding it directly on top of the wood chips and the cardboard and the grass is under there so you never have to dig anything up all of that breaks down into the most beautiful sponge. Eventually, mm -hmm. it hold, it's like a really wonderful place to hold moisture. So these beds, again, totally different than that yard right over there. No digging technique is the way to make the garden on the grass without digging. There are many ways, many styles you can do. It depends on what you have in your area. So in this area what we have we have a lot of paper so we can use all kind of paper from our house that we will throw away and the easiest thing is cardboard boxes all the cardboard boxes is thick and if we put many layers of cardboard boxes it will be very thick and it control the grass very well because it will not decompose very easy and it helps to keep the grass underground if it lasts for a long time most of the grass will die we use cardboard to push the grass down and then put a lot of them thick layer maybe three layer four layers but what we don't need is plastic like this. It's good to peel it off. We can use cardboard as much as we have. Or if we use normal paper, it's good to make it thicker than cardboard boxes. Because normal paper will last not very long. It will decompose faster than cardboard. The next thing that we can have in this area is wood chip. If you don't have wood chip, you can use anything that decompose easily. We use wood chip because it's free here. Don't attach to wood chip so much. In whatever you have in your area is the most important thing. Whatever easy, you can get it easily in the area. It can be sawdust, it can be uh, straw, thick straw, you can be leaves, it can be anything from the industrial or the factory that they use uh, agricultural products. They will have garbage like palm oil factory. They have leftover from palm fruit or some sugar cane. They have left over from sugar cane. You can use all of them. So the most important thing is use a lot and make it very thick layer. That will help to control the grass very well. And then in the long term, it's going to be decomposed, turned to the good soil for our garden. 
in cold climate, wood chip can take more than five years to decompose, but in tropical, some sawdust can take one or two years to decompose. So, if it's grass or leaf, it will take one year in uh, cold climate to decompose. But the thick leaf in tropical, it will take at least more than one year to decompose. So, if we use them to cover our soil, one year it will kill the grass under that easily. So, we can make the bed with thick layer of wood chip or anything similar like this. Then we can use compost over it. Or if you don't have a lot of uh, material, you can make a hole in the wood chip like this. It will be like a pot. And then you can fill up the hole with compost and you can plant tomato, plant anything in there. This is another technique. So in case you have not enough compost, you can do that. But if you have a lot of compost, you can make the big bed in the wood chip and then dump compost in there. It will be very thick compost. You can plant anything in there easily. To have a lot of compost is very important with this technique. You don't need to use dirt or soil at all. You can use only compost. Composting is very important thing. If we make compost from leftover in the kitchen and leaves around our house, every year we will have plenty of compost. Only leftover from the kitchen is good enough. So after we level the compost very well, we can sow the seed in there. If you have seedling, you can transplant seedling directly. But in here, in Colorado, the season of planting is very short. So it's good to use seedling. But for this time, we want to plant leftover seeds. We're going to eat the young vegetable. So when they grow not very tall, we will eat them. And we don't want to keep them long time because the season is very short. So young or baby green is a one way to have easy vegetable in this area. After that, just water very well make it very wet. If you use only compost, it's important to check after you water that it's wet all the way to the bottom. Because if it's wet only the top and then lower than one inch, it's still dry. That's not good for seed to sprout. So make sure every time after you water that it's wet enough. In case if you make the raised bed like this, it's better to put cardboard boxes very thick above the grass first. And then we can put the wooden frame on top of cardboard boxes. And then you can fill up the boxes with uh, the frame, the wooden frame. Fill up the wooden frame with compost and then you can plant anything in there. It will be easy. You don't need to dig it again. Just add more compost every year. So tall grass like this is not a problem at all. We can chain the tall grass or any grass into the garden like this easily by no digging technique like this. So we don't need to work a lot, just just small bed per month, every month. You will have a lot of garden. You will have a lot of food to eat. I think gardening don't need to be big. 
make it small and taking care of them, take care of them very well. It will produce a lot. Small, but do it good. It's the good way to do gardening. Don't make it too big. The bed size of the garden that is good is not too big. If you work less than half an hour per day, that is the best size of the garden. If you make more than that, it will be work. We don't want to work. We just want to enjoy in the garden. That is the way to do gardening. Enjoy it and have food. Have income from it too. If you have a chance to come nearby Colorado and you want to get more information, want to learn more, contact Plenty Farm. Sarah and her team very happy to share their experience here.